Hello everybody. I want to thank you for being here today. We're going to talk about how to save your baby pictures. Unfortunately, the person this deck is actually about isn't here, probably because maybe he wouldn't be too happy with it, but in ways he would be. We're uh, going to dive right in. So we have a situation, and this is actually real. This is based on somebody's um, experiences, not mine. So they use Time Machine to protect what's on their Mac. And so that actually means they had two files of everything, or two copies of everything, on the external hard drive and actually on the Mac. So that's sort of good. You lose your Mac or you lose the external drive, you're OK. And in his case, he had two kids, and all of their pictures of him growing up, or the children growing up, were on the external drive or on the Mac. Now, I don't have baby pictures for you, but Here's a picture of my wife and I in a strange place, and my wife just getting to meet her first llama, uh, Dundee, quite a good one. And we had some problems getting into uh, Petra a long time ago, and this picture, after we were lost, was a big deal to us. And this is where I met in um, Namibia an elephant, a bull elephant, a grandfather, and he actually put his trunk into my face. And the old ladies and the old men of the area believe that that elephant has just memorized who I am. And if I was polite to him, he'll be polite to me the next time we meet. But nevertheless, this picture is very important to me. And I don't ever want to lose it. And the fact is, this deck is about a guy, Pete, uh, who had this happen. And in his case, this fire was so hot that literally the windows in the two cars blew inwards the fire burned very, very hot. They were in the house, so two kids, two adults, and they got out with only a picture, uh, in a picture frame of the mother. And that's all they had. So that's really not good. So they lost a lot of different things. They didn't just lose the baby pictures, which is bad enough, and the young person pictures at all, they, everything was gone, but they also lost a lot of documents like wills and things like tax history. This is a Canadian story, so in Canada, our tax agency says you have to keep the real copies of your receipts. And in extraordinary circumstances, they may elect to uh, uh, um, accept the electronic ones, so they lost everything. The worst part is it turned out their insurance company wanted paperwork to justify the uh, burned house getting all of the money. So it was just crazy. So there's sentimental things, there's all different things that you lose here and it produces a lot of pain. Now, there is actually a solution. You can still use your Windows backup, your time machine. If you have anything that's paper, you can scan it. You can have an electronic copy of it. But that's still actually not good enough. Here's what I do. This is actually running on my Mac. It's called Backblaze. There's Windows and PC versions. And what this is telling us is as of 3 p.m. a few days ago, everything on my Mac, all 276,374 files, are in their cloud. So what this means is I'll have the external hard drive, either in my suitcase or at home, that has a copy of everything. My local hard drive actually has a copy of everything. And with everything in the cloud, I'm protected. But um, is there actually anything you have to worry about? And, and quite frankly, there is one more thing. And what that is, is you should actually use a service like Backblaze or CrashPlan that allows you to introduce a password into your backups. That's actually an extra encryption. And what that translates to is that the people of Backblaze or CrashPlan, as two examples, aren't able to restore files. They're not able to see files. And that means you're just a little better protected. And when you have your kids' pictures, when you have your insurance or your, ins or your tax documents, it's nice to have them protected. Now, you might think I use iPhotos, or pardon me, iCloud or Amazon Photos or something like that. Or you might think, all the books and music you buy, all from iTunes, let's say, or from Netflix or Prime or whatever, you can get everything back. But in point of fact, that's not necessarily true. I know for a fact that Netflix removes pictures after contracts expire. So every quarter, last quarter was 1,400 movies went away. Or if you think about the books that you've bought, 
from Amazon, there has been several cases where it turns out there was something dishonest about the book, so they pulled it out, so you can't get it again. And who knows how long Service X is going to be able to provide copies of your pictures. So really, what's important is that you are responsible. You need to protect what you can't live without. Literally, if your house burns down and you lose everything, it really is up to you to have the paperwork or the pictures that's going to keep you, first, getting a new house, but secondly, able to enjoy the pictures of your children growing up. Here's two links. Backblaze is a particularly important and interesting option because they invented this service and they did it with their own storage. And what does that mean? It means they didn't buy anybody else's storage. They built their own storage arrays. They're called storage pods and they're extraordinary. So what it means is unlimited. It means that when you pay them, I think it's $5 a month, I forget, that means any external hard drives connected to your PC or your Mac are backed up. It means if you go install it on your wife's machine, and unbeknownst to me, she had two or three external drives, they all get backed up, and the price to you doesn't change at all. So Backblaze is very interesting and very cost competitive. So here's the summary. You need to make sure you always have more than one copy of anything that's important. At Veeam and companies, we like to talk about three copies. But in your house, in your home, really what's important is you have multiple copies and not all in the house, not all on your computer, not all on your external hard drive. And for certain, have one copy that's in the cloud or off-site, something like that. And guess what? That is the end of this deck. So not very long. Thank you, everybody, and have a great day.